I'm going to make a, uh, a prepared statement and then I'll open the floor to questions. I'm happy to answer your questions at that time. A number of police shootings have occurred in recent months where no one will be satisfied with the outcome as some people have died. My thoughts are with everyone involved in these incidents. These incidents are currently being investigated by the State Coroner. We look forward as an organisation to the independent overview of and the recommendations that no doubt the coroner will make concerning these events. Maintaining community confidence and trust in how police resolve high risk incidents is critical. Our aim is to prevent loss of life or injury to anyone in our community, including your police. I have confidence in our police and their decision making. Let me be very clear on that point. The operating environment around a relatively small number of high risk events can involve extreme violence. These events are relatively low in number, but have a significant impact on all involved. They often involve a combination of factors, including mental health, domestic violence and drug or alcohol abuse. These, these tragic incidents are relatively rare, given the millions of interactions police have with the public each year. To make sure that we maintain community trust, we have commenced the following initiatives. I have commenced and immediately, immediately, I have um, commenced a review of our policy, procedures and training involving violent confrontations with particular interest in international best practice. The Queensland Police Service will provide total support and resources, if necessary, to the current coronial inquiries conducted by the State Coroner. I will seek an urgent meeting with advocates such as the Mental Health Commissioner regarding the compounding factors involved in violent high-risk events. I will immediately reinforce with all of my officers the confidence I have in their training that they have been provided with and their ability to make good decisions so that they can continue to keep everyone in Queensland safe. I will provide access by community representatives, including the media, to our training for all use of force situations. Our primary role is to, is to keep the community safe. These tragedies that have occurred in recent months are relatively rare given the complex and violent high-risk situations that police confront every day throughout our state. For example, in the past five years, the number of mental health examinations orders which police have initiated have risen by almost 50% in this state to over 8,000. I want to reiterate my confidence in the men and women of the Queensland Police Service and our training systems, but we are always looking to do better. However, I acknowledge the community concern around these tragedies and the Queensland Police Service will therefore take the immediate actions I have outlined to ensure we have the best training, the best procedures, the best resources for our, for your police to keep the entire community safe. Thank you and I'm happy to take questions.